Hello, good morning students. Today we'll do something very interesting. That is parental care in fishes. So, normally 77% of total fishes do not show any parental care. Only 23% they show parental care. So, how the parental care is shown by the fishes? Parental care is shown at the level of the eggs. That is care of eggs. Secondly, the parental care it is shown at the level of caring the young ones. So, basically, 16% fishes care their eggs. And the rest care the young ones. So what is parental care as you know? The caring of eggs or young ones until these are independent to defend themselves is known as the parental care. Definitely the parental care they increases the chances of survival of the offsprings. The parents transfer this knowledge to the young ones. In fish male parental care is more common many male mouth browed eggs or care for eggs in the nest cost of parental care in these cases seems to be lower for male than for the female because the female has to produce huge number of eggs and these eggs they contain huge amount of yolk which consumes energy the female prefers male that are engaged in the parental care and male can take care of several several egg clutches at a time male of a number of fishes form nest and guard their eggs and the young ones three types of nests they are very common in the case of fishes number one is the bubble nest it is made in water. The male, they make bubbles and sticky mucus. And in these bubbles, the eggs, they are placed till they hatch. Second is the pit nest. They are made by males. And the females, they lay eggs in these nests. And the males, they guard the eggs. Third is the weed nest. The, these nests they are made from the weed by the male and the female lays eggs in them mouth breeder very important fish tilapia tilapia is mouth breeder male carries the egg in his mouth till hatching and does not feed at all north american sea catfish Male carries egg for six months and do not take food. Showing example of self-sacrifice. See in the mouth you can see the eyes of the young one. Some fishes like butterfish they coil around the eggs. The eggs they are coiled like a ball and curl. The fish it curls around it. This is phobias with egg mass. In the case of the hippocampus that is seahorse. Inside the brood pouch fertilized eggs are transferred by the female into the brood pouch on the belly of the male. These eggs they are carried by the male till they are hatching. In case of male curtis, the eggs they are attached on the hook like process of dorsal spine. The male nursery fish of few gina carries eggs held in cephalic hooks. Male curtis. Mermaid purses in oviparous elasmobranch such as rays and catfishes 
fertilized eggs are laid inside protective horny egg capsule known as mermaid purses viviparity eggs develop in the uterus the mucus lining of the uterus forms fluid filled protective compartment where each embryo receives nourishment from the uterine tissue through yolk sac placenta sickle back in the nest male drive and induces the female into the nest for laying eggs then chases her away enters the nest fertilizes the eggs and guard them from the intruder in sickle back fish male sickle back can care for 10 clutches of eggs at once males grow more slowly when caring for young but because males are territorial and cannot range widely to look for food the additional cost of parental care is low for the female sickle back parental care would severely limit her ability to forage and grow because body size is closely correlated with egg production loss of foraging opportunity would have a significant effect on future reproduction bata with its bubble nest male will blow an elaborate bubble nest where he is ready to spawn the female should be provided with a hiding space as males may become aggressive during courtship even with the hiding place it is common for the female to lose a few scales or have their fins frayed during spawning when they are ready to spawn the pair will display intense coloration and begin circling each other under the bubble nest the male will wrap himself around the female who has turned on her back as she expels the egg they were fertilized and begin to sink the male carries them and place in the bubble mouth breeders male carries the eggs in his mouth till hatching very interesting formation of integumentary cups the skin of lower surface of the body of the female becomes soft and spongy just after fertilization the female presses the body against the eggs so that the eggs are lodged in the integumentary depressions the eggs remain in the integumentary cups till hatching example catfish platystichus very important now the males they perform various function for taking care of the eggs but they oxygenate the eggs they clean the eggs keep off the predators they attack the predators and will not allow them to come near their eggs they are responsible for egg nest building they form foam nest they can incubate in mouth they lay the eggs in the protective places in the case of male hoplias eggs they are guarded and they are deposited in a basin covered by the leaves see here in the case of sea horses the young ones they'll come out from the male brood pouch in shiner suffolk perch cymatogaster the eggs are fertilized in the ovarian follicle but are soon released into the cavity and are nourished by the secretion from the ovary the males are retained in the ovary until sexually mature see here the vivipari in the case of scolidon true internal incubation the eggs they are scattered on the aquatic plants which protects them in the case of pike scarps and cyprinus depositing eggs in sticky covering in the case of the yellow perch the females release the unique gelatinous according 
like strand of eggs called the ribbon as many as 4 to 5 males may fertilize the egg in the tube like matrix which is slightly heavier than water the egg stand or ribbon may become entangled on vegetation or debris in the water or it may settle at the bottom of river or stream the ribbon can be more than 6 feet long and are proportional to the size of the female fecundity varies with fish size age nutritional status but most female lay about 120 to 250 eggs per mm of their length yellow perch eggs are deposited in rope of single mass egg laying in a pit for example salmo anadromous fish ten spined sickle back build elaborate nest by collecting plant fragment rootlets and then binding them with adhesive kidney secretion this is very important example in the case of rhodius they deposit their eggs by ovipositor in muscles that is mollusks european bitterling so my sincere thanks to www.google.com for providing us beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic thank you